Just a week before Christmas, I had a visitor. I had just finished the household chores for the night and was preparing to go to bed when I heard a noise. I opened the door to the front room and to my surprise, Santa himself stepped out from behind the Christmas tree. What are you doing? I started to ask as I saw he had tears in his eyes. His usual jolly manner was gone. Gone was the eager, boisterous soul we all know. He then answered me with a simple statement. Teach the children. I was puzzled. What did he mean? He anticipated my question with one quick movement, brought forth a miniature toy bag from behind the tree. As I stood bewildered, Santa said, Teach the children. Teach them the old meaning of Christmas. The meaning that nowadays Christmas has forgotten. Santa then reached into his bag and pulled out a fir tree and placed it before the mantle. Teach the children that the pure green colour of the stately fir tree reminds, remains green all year round, depicting the everlasting hope of mankind. All the needles point heavenward, making it a symbol of man's thoughts turning toward heaven. He again reached into his bag and pulled out a brilliant star. Teach the children that the star was the heavenly sign of promises long ago. God promised a saviour for the world, and the star was the sign of fulfilment of his promise. He then reached into his bag and pulled out a candle. Teach the children that the candle symbolises that Christ is the light of the world, and when we see this great light, we are reminded of he who displaces the darkness. Once again, he reached into his bag and removed a wreath and placed it on the tree. Teach the children that the wreath symbolises the real nature of love. Real love never ceases. Love is one continuous round of affection. He then pulled from the bag an ornament of himself. Teach the children that I, Santa Claus, symbolise the generosity and goodwill we feel during the month of December. He then brought out a holly leaf. Teach the children that the holly plant represents immortality. It represents the crown of thorns worn by our Saviour. 
The red holly represents the blood shed by him. Next, he pulled from his bag a gift and said, Teach the children that God so loved the world that he gave his son. Thanks be to God for this wondrous gift. Teach the children that the wise men bowed before the holy babe and presented him with gold, frankincense and myrrh. We should always give gifts in the same spirit of the wise men. Santa then reached into his bag and pulled out a candy cane and hung it on the tree. Teach the children that the candy cane represents the shepherd's crook. The crook on the staff helps to bring back strayed sheep to the flock. The candy cane is the symbol that we are our brother's keeper. He reached in again and pulled out an angel. Teach the children that it was the angels that heard the glorious news of the Saviour's birth. The angels sang, Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Suddenly I heard a soft twinkling sound, and from his bag he pulled out a bell. Teach the children that as the lost sheep are found by the sound of the bell, it should bring mankind to the fold. The bell symbolises guidance and return. Santa looked back and was pleased. He looked back at me, and I saw that the twinkle was back in his eyes. He said, Remember, teach the children the true meaning of Christmas, and do not put me in the centre, for I am but a humble servant of the one that is, and I bow down to worship him, our Lord, our God. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> See? 